All right, so on this, this is an RBX 562. This is the older model of the case in New Holland um, round balers. So they have changed the net wrap system a little bit, um, not much. As far as up here, it really hasn't changed a whole lot. It's just the actuation system. So um, the components here, we got our brake pad right back here on top of our drum, so I cannot turn this right now. Um, these little razor blade thingies are literally just gonna go and basically hold your tube in place so when we apply the brakes, we, can, we don't slip the tube on there. Uh, back here, we go through a series of those rollers to literally extend, they're just like auger flighting, to extend that net wrap as, far, as wide as we possibly can. Um, we got our counter roll right here. So it's gonna literally have a little uh, steel sensor in there um, or a steel pin to actually go past the sensor and count. So we know exactly how many feet are going on per bale. Um, it's not a timed event, it is actually a measured event. Um, so that is kind of a highlight of this one. Okay, this is our special tool to actually install the net wrap. Okay, so you literally just come right in here and our duck bill is down below right here is actually our you can see this is where our net wrap is actually going to feed we'll see a side shot there so when we take our net wrap we we tie it up in a little roll and then you literally shove that in there through that duck bill um, they haven't really changed that at all uh, on the other side here let's come around this side So we have our duck bill. It's pretty tough to see, but it's literally two plates that are come together. Um, right in there is the tip of our duck bill. Okay, so this whole actuator system, we got our potentiometer measuring where we're at all the time. Okay, this is our home position. This is going to be extend. So when we actually extend this this actuator out. This whole mechanism is going to rotate down into our bather, which we will do right now. Our monitor is not working, so we're going to override it. Okay, so there is actually extend. Um, we are now putting that net wrap on that bale. So if we come around and look here, we can see our duck bill is literally right there. Okay. So we come through these rollers and actually apply as our hay is literally running past. That's what's actually gonna grab that net wrap, pull it on. Uh, we're gonna come back. So when we come back, we're in the extend position here. Let me flip my leads around. This is a scientific test. Okay, there's gonna be ex the, the basically where it puts on the brake on the drum. We're gonna tension that net wrap up and then when we are finished, we're gonna, we have our knife right here, is gonna actually over center, make a big loud bang. Right like that. So if we just simply reverse that. Okay, so now we are applying net wrap again. And there we cut. So that's basically how that system works. This one is pretty much flawless as long as this bearing has to be able to rotate back here on the back of this shaft. Um, if it can't, we just need to adjust this, um, these two bolts on that slotted hole, make it so where it is free. Um, that's gonna go through the specs on the operator's manual too. Um, this one is by far the fastest tying time just because we're going direct to the bale. We don't have to travel down the back of the belts um, to get into the bale. So we're, we're faster by a couple seconds. So other than that, that's all for this one.